Our scripture today is from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, where the Bible says, And the government will be upon his shoulders. During presidential election years, my wife has often commented, Why does anybody want this job? It's a fair question. Running for president involves putting a target on your chest while telling the world, I'd like to have the weight of the responsibility for the whole nation on my shoulders for the next four, maybe eight years. It's been said there must be a trace of narcissism in anyone who runs for president. The responsibilities are overwhelming. If you're doing the job right, the pace is relentless. You can expect virtually constant opposition any time you decide or plan something. And should you win the election, you can know that you will make mistakes along the way, any of which could have significant repercussions for the country. Jesus was already a king when he came into our world. He was already carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders before he arrived as a baby in Bethlehem. The Magi who came to pay tribute were acknowledging by their gifts that this child was already a king. Years before he was born, another king, Solomon, wrote a psalm of praise about the coming king. He said, May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May desert tribes bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of the coastlands render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him. All nations serve him. That's Psalm 72, verses 8 through 11. When Pontius Pilate, on the morning that Jesus was to be crucified, asked him if he was a king, Jesus responded by saying that his kingdom was not of this world. His rule and reign are far beyond that of any human leader. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Kingship, the Bible says, belongs to the Lord. He rules over all the nations, Psalm twenty-two twenty-eight. He rules over the affairs of men, including whatever happens in your life today. He rules in power, in majesty, in wisdom, and justice. We can rejoice because the Lord reigns. Let's pray. Jesus, I acknowledge you as my king, the ruler over my life today. Thank you for caring for every detail of my life. Amen.